Power Commands is an extension which contains a lot of different functionality. And most of this is exposed as right-click menus and other context-sensitive things to let you do things more quickly than you otherwise could. It doesn't really give you any brand new capability, but it might, for example, save you from opening a file and then doing something with it by just being able to directly do something with it. All of the savings from using the power commands are pretty small, but the big advantage that they have to me is they let me stay focused on what I'm trying to accomplish and not get distracted by what I have to do to drive Visual Studio in order to accomplish it. Now, let me show you how it works. I have a project open and you may not know that you can right click these tabs across the top of the editor and there are choices here such as uh, open the containing folder that brings up a Windows Explorer to that particular folder where the file is contained and notice that the uh, affected file the one you right clicked on is selected so if I was sitting here in Visual Studio and I wanted to do something in the folder that my project sits in you might think that that would be the only way to do it and out of the box that's a way to do it but when I have Power Commands installed, I don't have to have a file open. I can right click just out here in Solution Explorer and choose Open Containing Folder. And up it comes, and the file that I had selected in Solution Explorer is the one that's open. So it's simply a matter of, well, I could have opened the file and then right click the tab. It's simply quicker to just uh, right click the file in Solution Explorer. Why would I open up a Windows Explorer here? Well, maybe I want to copy a file. Maybe I'd like to open a file in a different tool. Uh, or maybe I just want this path. Well, that's a, a crummy way to do it because uh, I can get that path other ways. You can get the path by clicking this tab, and I can get the path uh, by uh, right-clicking here in Solution Explorer. Say, copy the path and get it into my clipboard buffer that way. And maybe all I want to do with the path is paste it uh, into a CD command to get a command prompt in the right place. I do that a lot, so obviously it's even quicker to just choose Open Command Prompt from the side. And what you get is a Visual Studio command prompt with the right uh, environment variable set. So I can, for example, bring up ILDASM or any other command line tool that a .NET programmer might want to use from within that Visual Studio command prompt. Uh, those two things make a big difference, obviously. Uh, a nice touch, I'm just going to bring up an empty notepad that will let me show off some things that I'm going to put in my clipboard buffer, is this copy path. If I do it on a file, I get the path to the file. If I do it on the project, I get the path to the project file. If I do it on the solution, I get the path to the solution file. And these are all fantastic, for example, when you're writing up documentation, especially programmer documentation, so that you're not retyping the same things over and over again, making typos, fixing them up, that sort of thing. Now the other thing that people copy and paste a lot is when they're putting emails together. So let's say, for example, that I was going to uh, contact some coworker and, and say, look, I've got these four lines of code. I'm not sure if they're exactly right. I could just copy the code into my clipboard buffer, uh, spin over to Outlook, hit new mail message, paste in the message, uh, or I could choose this email code snippet command, which brings up the mail message with a non-awful subject line and pastes the code in. Uh, kind of a fun thing, if I don't have any code selected and I just right click email code snippet, it does the entire uh, file, uh, everything that's in the file. And again, it's just a matter of not having to select it myself and copy it and paste it and so forth and so on, but rather just uh, to be able to stay focused on what it is that I'm trying to achieve, in this case, emailing that snippet to someone for their opinion. When I was talking to someone about what they used command prompts for, um, many of us have a series of utilities that we use from time to time from the command line, and one that was mentioned to me was the GUID gen, which generates a GUID. Now, depending on your installation, you may have GUID gen on your tools menu. Uh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Uh, I think I do because I'm a C++ person. But whether you bring it up from the command line or from the tools menu, you're left with this problem of going, uh, I don't know, what format do I want? Do I want this one here with the collection of things separated by commas? Do I want this one? Do I want this one with has lots more brace brackets in it? Mm, maybe I want registry format. And, you know, figuring out which of these six options to choose is, is probably the most of the work. Now, in today's world, if you're doing .NET programming and you've got a class that you'd like to put this GUID attribute on, uh, Yes, you need a GUID to paste into the attribute, but you also need the attribute, right? One of the things that 
Power Tools gives you is this Insert GUID Attribute, which takes care of both problems at once. So it generates the actual attribute itself, that little bit of code, and it goes off and makes a new GUID in the right format and puts it in there for you so you're good to go. One last thing that I have time to show is the undo close. We've all closed a file we didn't mean to close. Let's choose one that doesn't have unsaved changes to do this to. So I'm just going to accidentally uh, close the file and then say, oh no, I closed the file. And I don't want to go running around in the Solution Explorer looking for that file to get back. I may not exactly be sure what file I closed. That's actually my bigger problem when it comes to accidentally you know, clicking an X that I didn't mean to click. Had five or six files open, not entirely sure which one I closed but I'm pretty sure that I want it back. So if you go under View, Other Windows, the Power Commands gives you an extra window called the Undo Close window, and it's just a list of things you've closed recently. Double click it, and it brings it back. So it saves you from yourself in so many different ways. These are all relatively simple things. They're really about not having to stop and think, but just being able to uh, get started right away with what you're trying to achieve in Visual Studio, rather than focusing on how to drive it. There's so much more in there. Every time you save your document, you can fix up your formatting and your indents. You can fix up your excess using or import statements at the top. Um, you can copy and paste references between projects uh, and much, much more. I really encourage you to take a look at Power Commands and get more productive right away.